So I've got some new golf balls to test. And today I'm gonna to test the new Srixon Z Star and Z Star XV. So with the Z Star, we're talking about a three piece construction golf ball. Soft feel, long distance, mid ball flight, high green side spin and low driver spin. While the Z Star XV is a four piece design, still with soft feel, long distance, a mid to high ball flight, high spin around the green, and again, low driver spin. So for me, a lot of similarities in what Srixon are talking about. Now I'm fully expecting XV to be a little bit firmer feel. So it'll be interesting to see how the firmer and the soft ones perform, how they feel, and just possibly off the back of today's video, could Srixon be the most underrated company that makes golf balls? Now, just before we find that out though, if you're new down to my channel, welcome down to Ali Taylor Golf. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If while you're watching today, you're enjoying the content and you don't currently subscribe, I'd love you to click the button below, ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. But for now, let's put these golf balls through their paces. Right, so like I said at the start there, I think Srixon are maybe the most underrated golf ball manufacturer. Um, I don't know whether that's just the fact that they maybe don't market like some of the golfers out there, but certainly at that price point, these are 35 pounds in the UK. I'm guessing equivalent in America around that $35 but about 10 pound a dozen cheaper than the Titleist Pro-V or Pro-V 1X and certainly about seven pound cheaper than the TP5. Same sort of price as the Bridgestone ball, which I think did really well last year. So the big difference is Z Star is a three piece construction. Z Star XV is four piece. So I'm gonna run through the normal things of kind of half sand wedge with me, hit some seven irons, hit some drivers, some pitching wedges, kind of look at some numbers of those and give you guys feedback on feel particularly, because I think they will feel very differently. XV should feel a little firmer. Z Star supposed to be kind of the softer of the two balls. So it'd be interesting to see if that's the case. And as ever does, as a lot of people believe, does softer spin more or does the firmer one spin more? Um, just very interesting. I haven't tested Srixon balls for a long time. Be interesting to see would these be something that either of these that I could could or should potentially be playing. But most importantly, is it something you guys should be playing? So I'm going to start off with my 56 degree half swing. So I know my numbers with my Titleist Pro V1X for carry, kind of approximately for spin, and I know V1X feels a little bit firmer, which I quite like. More so maybe when I get to put in that little bit, which I will hit some putts with these as well. So let's go Z star first off. And maybe just carrying a couple of yards longer than I would expect, but some great spin at nearly 7,800. Now that one just a little bit slower for me, so I'm not hitting that quite the distance I needed, but still over 7,000 spin. That's probably more my number that I would expect. And some good spin numbers. And I'll be honest, it does feel very soft when I'm hitting those little pitch shots. And it's not that I don't like soft, it's just not what I'm used to. I, could, I think if the numbers were great on this and this was a ball I was going to put in my bag, it was definitely something I could get used to. So let's just have a couple more little pitches. But yeah, very soft off the face. A little bit longer again than I was trying to hit the ball. Again, a little bit left, a little bit pulley spin down, more down to me presenting a bit less loft. 
Right, so let's jump over to XV. Straight away there, definitely more clicky sound-wise and feeling a little firmer. So I haven't looked at the averages yet, so it'll be interesting when we compare the averages, but let's just hit a few pitches with the XV. Definitely feels firmer. And spin-wise, pretty good, over 7,000. Again, lovely and consistent. Ooh, that one a little bit off to the right, which is my bad one. So short, but lots of loft and quite a lot of spin there for that shot. That one very similar and lots of spin for something that short. Spin dropped off and again a little off to the right. Definitely feels like the ball just slides up the face a little bit more with the XV. So let's just look at some averages there and see how those two balls stacked up on my kind of half swing with my 50, 60 degree. Okay, so I was a little bit slower with the Z Star XV. I wasn't particularly trying to be. And as a result of that, my carry was back a little bit. And a 500 rev difference in backspin. But also the softer ball there, just launching a little bit lower. Now, I know the last three with XV there, I left out to the right. But I still think I'd have been up around that kind of 29 degree launch. So certainly for me there, the Z star, the softer ball, just generating a little bit more backspin. Right, so let's jump into pitching wedge. So 47 degree pitching wedge. So my pitching wedge, a little bit more loft than a lot of the kind of wedges you guys might be using. But again, I know my numbers with my ball. So let's see how Z star first off. Okay, so interesting, round about the carry, maybe two or three yards longer than I would normally do. Spin rate at only 7,600 though. That one a little bit out of the toe, but 9,000 spin, so kind of more up around where I would expect. Maybe be hoping for just a touch more than that. Again, a couple of yards further, a little drawy one from me. So the ball's still feeling very soft, but not necessarily spinning a lot. And yeah, definitely a couple of yards, maybe longer than I would expect. And that spin rate down around that 7.7 seven on that. So quite low spin for me with a pitching wedge with the Z Star. Right, so that moves me on to XV. Again, noticeably feeling a little bit firmer. Straight away, kind of more around that 120 that I'd be looking for, 122, but just under 9,000 spin. And again, much more consistently where I would want in all my numbers. Just maybe a little bit pushy. So yeah, lost a couple of yards on distance. But again, that spin very consistent. Let's go one last one with XV. And I would definitely say XV kind of feeling a bit more like my Pro V1X. A little bit firmer off the face. I, 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 it's probably wrong to say I quite like it. That's more what I'm used to. But one more with pitching wedge. And again, absolutely around that same spin. Right, so before we look at the averages on the others, let's go seven iron. So definitely, even before we looked at averages there, Looked as though Z Star started to spin a bit lower. Seven in. So 
So 6,350. Not bad. Getting very consistent. To be fair, there's some very solid numbers with Z-Star, with 7N. Right, so we saw a big difference, I thought. Like I said, I haven't looked at averages yet, but I thought there was a big difference with Pitching Wedge. Be interesting to see with 7N whether we see any sort of difference in the spin here. Pretty much on the money. Ooh, that was a real low spin of that one. Right, so let's now move into driver. So again, Z star first. Right, so final round of shots. Driver with Z Star XV. An interesting, just the spin. Seeming to be a little higher. It's a really good solid strike. Again, numbers are really good there. That one actually just turning a bit more than I need. Okay. Right, so let's look at the averages. We've already looked at the pitch shots. Let's look at pitching wedge, seven iron driver and see how the two balls stack up against each other. Right, so pitching wedges. So we saw Z-Star going a little bit further, but really down to that spin being lower, being around about that 8,000. So a much bigger gap than I kind of expected to see there between Z-Star and XV. So when we look at 7-iron stats, we can see there that club head speed a little bit quicker with Z-Star, no, nothing really in that. Ball speed up a little bit with Z-Star, launching the same, and Z-Star actually spinning more there. So even though it was lower with the pitching wedge, it was actually higher, and it was very, very consistent. I know it's a small sample, but very consistent. And just those two with Z-Star XV, we're a little bit on the low side, but they felt decent strikes. And then as we move into driver, very similar kind of club head speeds, very similar ball speeds, launching almost identical, but spin consistently lower on Z-Star than it was with XV, even though those last two with the XV were very low. Now, if the strikes are not identical on all of them, but there was, that shot there at 2-1-3 was a little bit toey. Maybe those first two were just a touch lower off the face, but still pretty solid. But all in all, some interesting numbers. Right, so I'm just gonna hit a couple of putts, not necessarily to anything, but just really to get a feel for off the putter face. We'll go Z-Star first.
and then on to XV. And a massive difference in kind of sound and therefore feel. I'll be honest, probably, even though the Z Star's the softer of the two, I don't think it's super soft. So I actually probably preferred the feel with putter to the Z Star. But let's have a full wrap up and see which one of those two golf balls I would play. Right, so it was interesting for me and. I, <sighs> Maybe all that video has shown me is a bit more in-depth testing for me and maybe some stuff out on the golf course out of different lies with a little bit of moisture. But I always think it's important to get a nice controlled environment like dry ball, dry environment. So indoors are always great, I think, for golf ball fittings. Now, I'll be honest, when I tried those, I kind of thought the Z Star XV would be the ball for me because four-piece construction, kind of slightly firmer feel. But actually, as I went through it, I kind of like the overall performance of Z Star. And certainly when I hit putter, I actually did prefer that feel. It is the softer of the two, but I don't think it's super soft. So, and I just like that slightly crisper feel that I get off my putter. So for me, Z Star, but like I said at the start, you know, are Strix on potentially the most underrated company for golf balls? Very possibly, and I know a lot of golfers that use things like AD333, but I think the Z Star and the Z Star XV are both really good golf balls. The key as ever is get along, get fitted, find something that you like and then stick with it so at least it's consistent with how it performs. If you want something that spins more, great, and then you have to get used to that. If you're happy with something that doesn't spin too much, Again, you can get used to that, but try and play the same ball, be consistent. It's the only bit of golf equipment you use on every single shot. And I do personally think golf ball fitting is a massively underrated service. Maybe enough places don't provide it. And I'm not saying it needs to be a premium golf ball. It might be a ball that's one pound a ball that is a ball that you know it performs and it's a good performing ball for you but find what works, stick with it and go from there. But all in all, very impressed with the Z Star and the Z Star XV. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed the video today and you don't currently subscribe, please consider hitting the button below, ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.